Hello kids, how are you? I hope you all are good. Today we'll start with a very interesting chapter, chapter 8, scratch 3, programming. Now you have learned about this program, that is, it is a fun visual based programming language. You very well know how to code blocks in your code area to make videos, to make animations, stories and games. So today we'll, you'll learn more how to program scratch. Let's begin with scratch 3 data types variables mathematical operators sensing category conditional programming repeat block pen extension category broadcasting and receiving messages so let's just start the chapter hey nikhil you are practicing scratch for 5 hours is all okay? I have a programming competition coming up in Scratch. I am thinking of participating in it. So preparing for that only. Scratch 3 Scratch 3 is a fun-based visual programming language. This computer language is easy to learn the basics of programming in a fun-filled and easy manner. All commands are on the screen, simply move blocks into a set order, and then configure them to create interactive stories, games, and animations. Data Types Like all computer programs, Scratch applications need data to be able to process and store it. Scratch has built-in support for three data types of data. String, Boolean, Integer, and Real. A string is a piece of text data. Boolean represents data that has an assigned value of either true or false. An integer is a numeric value that does not include a decimal point. A real number is a number that includes a decimal. Variables Variables can store numbers as well as words. A variable that stores numbers is called a numeric variable. These numbers are used in calculations. Examples are 56, minus 98, etc. We can simply think of a box which has a number in it. A variable that stores words in the form of strings or characters is called string variable. For example, Ritika, I am 13 years old, 2022. These variables are not used in calculations. Creating variables in Scratch. Click on the Make a Variable button in the Variables category. New variable dialog box appears. Type a name for the variable. Choose whether the variable will be used for all the sprites or for one sprite only. Click on the OK button. The variable with name vegetable gets created. Scratch also creates four code blocks under the variable block. First one is used to assign a variable value. Second one is used to increment variable value. Third one is used to retrieve variable value. Fourth one is used to hide the variable. Mathematical operators. The blocks in the operator category provides us many operators which are used to do operations on numeric data. These blocks are light green in color and are used to program math equations and string handling. Addition of two numbers. Click on the make a variable button in the variable category. New variable dialog box appears. Type a name for the variable. Click on the OK button. Scratch creates the D variable. Repeat steps 1 to 3 and create two more variables E and F. After creating all the three variables D, E and F, these variables appear in variables panel and on the stage. Drag the set command to code area. Click on the down arrow and select variable D from the list. Type the value of D. Drag the set command to code area and paste it under D. Repeat steps 6 and 7 and set the value of E as 25. Repeat the previous steps and set the value of F as sum of D and E. Click on operators. All operator blocks appear. Drag the first operator to fit into the value slot of F variable. Click on variables. Drag variable D from variables menu to fit into the slot of operator. Second slot of operator. Click on events. Drag the when flag clicked block and put it at the top of the block stack. 
Click on the green flag to execute the code. The program starts code blocks and shows. Blocks and shows the calculation in the variable area on the stage. Sensing category. The blocks in the sensing category are color-coded light blue and are used to get user text input, detect conditions, and report on values in the project. There are currently 18 sensing blocks, 3 stack blocks, 5 boolean blocks, and 10 reporter blocks. These blocks can work with control blocks to stabilize a project flow. The touching block has options for detecting whether the sprite that owns the program is touching the mouse pointer, the edge of the stage, or another sprite. Ask and wait block asks the question and stores the answer as a keyboard input and answers block. Conditional programming. A program is a set of instructions which are executed in a sequential manner. In some situations, we have to change the order of execution of the program based on conditions. Condition checking blocks. The if then and if then. Else blocks help us to check conditions and decide on a course of action. This control block which is used to check its condition. If the condition is true, the code inside the C block will run. If the condition is false, the code inside the C block will be ignored. This control block is also used to check its condition. If the condition is true, the code inside the first C block will run. If the condition is false, the code inside second C block will be activated. Let us learn how the sprite moves according to the arrows keys when pressed. Drag the forever block to the code area. Drag the if then block to the code area and place it inside the forever block. Drag the block from the sensing category and place it in the condition area of if then block. Click the drop down in this block and choose the key pressed a soup arrow. Now, drag the change Y by block and place it inside the if then block. Repeat steps 2, 3 and 4 for down arrow, left and right arrow key. Give appropriate values to change X by and change Y by blocks. Click on the block stack created and note the movement of the sprite as we press the arrow keys R repeat block. The repeat block is a control block which runs the script for a set number of times. This block is used when we know how many times the command block will run. By default, the white box in the block contains the numeric value which shows the number of repeats the block will execute. We can change the number to change the number of repeats PEN extension category pen is used to draw shapes using different colors and sizes. Sprites pen has a feature that allows shapes to be drawn according to the sprite's movement. To use pen, we enable it from extensions as it is not located in the blocks category. Click on add extension option in the lower left corner. Choose an extension window appears. Click on the pen extension pen extension appears in the blocks category. Click the blocks in the pen category to draw the interesting shapes. Broadcasting and receiving messages. In a scratch project, broadcast is a message that is sent to notify the scripts that an event has happened. It is a good way through which sprites send messages to one another. The sprites can listen to the messages and respond accordingly. In the events category, broadcast block, broadcast and wait block, and when I receive block is present. Click on the green flag, the singer sprite will greet the audience, play music and broadcast the message start dance. The second sprite will receive the message and start positioning and dancing on receiving the message. Click on the red flag to stop the execution of the program. 